welcome back to another 18 hole course vlog. The sun is shining today. We're playing Mickleover Golf Club. It's windy, but it's warm. Let me tell you, the shorts are on. The fresh trainers are on. Feeling good. Let's see how low we can go. Right, hole number one. Nice inviting tee shot, par four. 285 yards. First thing of the day, we'll take it. <laughs> Just a little side note, um, bear with me on the first couple of holes. I got out of the car park and both the practice nets today uh, were taken. So that literally was my first swing there. We just missed the fairway just on the left rough here. It's all massively downhill. One, five, one to the middle. I've got a nine iron in my hands. Oh, the wind's got that. Sit down. So the one place I couldn't go was into this nonsense here. Right, taking a drop, 54 degree. Oh, skip through the bunker. <laughs> Probably the rustiest start <laughs> to any of my videos ever. Okay, so the greens are fast. <laughs> this is why you do putting warm up, boys and girls. Yeah, these greens are quick. Hole number two, 167. I've gone for my six iron. Wind off the right. Should play nicely into the fade slash slice. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Get on the green. Oh. <laughs> Middle of the green, let's go! Six iron, beauty! Come on! Wow, what a way to bounce back. The compression on that shot felt like absolute butter. Left to right, a touch. I think the aim of the game today is just don't race it past. Oh, that was awful. Oh! <laughs> oh, that is so frustrating. Not what you want to see. Boogie on the second. The putting after a good tee shot on a par three <laughs> is just inevitably awful for me. I don't know if anyone else feels the same. That was a stress-free par. My first putt was no longer than 15 feet. Oh, anyway, playing bogey golf. Mindset, come on, let's keep smiling. Bogey golf is the target. Right, so on to the next. Par four, 293 yards. Into wind, big time. Oh, that is slicing so hard. Sit down, sit down. This is probably, after walking that fairway, probably the windiest day I've ever played golf in. Here we go, just in the right rough. Oh, we like a bit of rough on this channel, let me tell you. <laughs> Here we go, 142, 99 again for the approach. Oh, be the number. Oh, it's short. Oh yeah, of course. I'm hitting into wind. Oh, you absolute donut. I've just said it's the windiest day ever. I'm hitting into wind and I'm playing the number for the nine iron. Anyway, pure connection. Let's go. Right, so I think it goes without saying that I'm awful out of bunkers. And uh, I've got about five feet of elevation pretty much instantly. Um, if this somehow comes out, I'm going on the tour. Oh, <laughs> absolute golf shot. Six feet, <laughs> it's 
go. Another huge paw pot coming up. Didn't break at all, but we didn't run it past. Another bogey, all aboard the bogey train. I will take bogeys all day long, as you guys know. Right, hole four, 320 yard par four. So the big dog's coming out. Not the biggest fairway, a little cut or a straight one would be, would be lovely. We need to get the driver warmed up. We need to get some WD-40, some oil into those hips. That was a stiff, <laughs> stiff old swing. But we didn't even reach the fairway. It's not the first time I've said that. 240 yards left. Um, we've got water playing about 218, so I'm not gonna do anything stupid here. I've got the seven iron in my hands. We're gonna lay up. Oh, yeah, just when I thought my uh, swing was starting to feel smooth with the old irons, swiftly brought back down to earth. I am bang in trouble as well because I don't even have, I don't even have the wet ground excuse today. It is pure, everything, conditions, apart from the wind, is pure, so it's all on me, it's all on me. I've now got a very testing, very testing approach shot. So almost like the par three, 169, to the middle, six iron in hand. For right! Ah! Shallow divot, just must have opened the club face. Right, we're entering horror show territory here. One, two, three. So this is our fourth stroke now. Um, and we've got 70 yards to the green. We've got a tree, as you can tell. I've got the 58 degree. Yep. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I am absolutely buzzing with that. Straight to the hole here for the bogey. Let's go, let's go. Saved by the wedges is not something I'll say very often. Whew. Okay, big bogey, awful approach in that hole, but we saved our bacon. Let's go on to the next. The bogey train is still rolling. Yeah, hole number five, par five, 462 yards, and as you can tell, into wind like crazy. Full hybrid in hand here. Oh, so pure, but pure in. Right, so this is a state of play. Um, punt out there, or sort of thread the needle through there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> it hit a branch, I was waiting for it to land, and then it went about 20 feet <laughs> forward, but we're on the fairway, we're on the fairway. Right guys, oh, my bag just fell over, <laughs> behind the camera, here we go, stop waffling, 253 yards, it's a layup shot with the hybrid here, into wind as you can tell. Oh, I need to stop playing for the draw, that was drawing as well, punt back out the fairway off a tree once again, the golf cods are on our side. We've got 179 to the middle here, just out the rough. Six sign again. Six sign is getting a lot of use today. Oh, it's left, stay out the bunker. Kick right. Run, 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 run. Just short of the green. The confidence with the six sign has come on leaps and bounds. I used to avoid it like the plague. I probably wouldn't even hit a six sign there a couple of months ago. But I tell you what, smooth little swing there. Just came up short into wind, so I suppose it's expected. But yeah, lovely flight, lovely swing. Let's see if we can chip on. Right, so we came up short-sided. You guys have been killing me in the comments for reaching for the wedge, <laughs> reaching for loft every time I'm in this situation. So I'm gonna play 
the full hybrid which has served me not too bad off camera recently so here we go a little punt on there I've caught it with the heel again just like in the last video I mean great for speed all right if nothing else we've earned a bogey putt not an easy one gotta go straight at it left to right <laughs> the answer to my question was left to right Whew. cultured finish on to the next all right so after that double we've got a par three and probably the easiest one of the day um 130 yards wind helping it's never been more of a pitching wedge so here we go skinny be good be good oh it's long a little bit too skinny so we've flown the green right so we're in this funky little lie here yeah we just sort of ran the green shame really but yeah we've got a testing little fun down here <laughs> all right <laughs> my bag just fell over again oh my god right into wind here don't try to be too cute with it gap wedge bump on Right, so for our par, <laughs> we've got this strange little shot here. That's the one, sit down. Again, could have done that the first time. Right, testing bogey putt. It's going right to left, I'm sure it is. Oh! <laughs> get in the hole! You've got me celebrating bogeys, but we'll take what we get. <laughs> Number seven, par four, 335 yards. I've got the D stick in hand here. Oh, oh, that was so perfect. Yeah, hit the leaves on the left and killed the speed but to be honest we trundled down so i'll have a very long but an approach shot for the green 197 uphill Woo. let's see if we can find another one of them slinging draw four hybrids again oh my god that was perfect that was perfect that is absolutely soul destroying I genuinely think that was going to be dancing. The draw. Perfect, perfect connection. It was drawing, and then I just hit these branches up above, right on the edge as well. Oh, I suppose that was always part of the risk with the shot, but we'll take it. Yeah. Our first little test to get up and down here. Tight lie, 30 yards uphill. Do you know what? You've seen my short game. It's actually rolled out a bit as well. <laughs> Come on, happy with that. Right, it's nice to be put in for par rather than boogie for once. Big swing right to left up the hill. <sighs> I think the line was good, just never stood a chance with the pace. Gonna play right to left if you don't ram it past for the double. Oh, tough to take, but we move. Hole number eight, 309 yard, par four, dog leg to the left. It's, by the way, at some point I will get a drone to get those sexy panning shots of each hole before I uh, take the swing on the tee box. So stay tuned for that. It's just work in progress on the channel. Just bear with me, it's a work in progress, but we will get there. <laughs> Here we go, full hybrid in hand. It's been working a treat today, so let's keep feeding it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm predicting my shot shape. <laughs> let's go. Boys and girls, we have come a long, <laughs> a long way <laughs> from shanking most of my shots, duffing everything to call in a draw off the tee with the four hybrid. We've come a long way. Shout out to you who have been with me from the beginning. <laughs> right, so we've found the rough. 
um, on the just one tenth of the pin here. I've got the gaff wedge in hand, it's going to be a nice full swing here. Oh no, it's long. Very long. Ah, oh, caught it a bit too clean. <laughs> so this is where a caddy or course knowledge come in handy. So there's the green. What I didn't know was there was a massive fall off downhill. And my ball is in the middle there. So question is, do I play an unplayable or try and hack something out there? Well, <laughs> we only live once. <laughs> I can maybe do like a left-handed swing here or oh actually yeah that's not too bad I've got space for sort of half a swing here we go get up there oh, it's traveling oh it's a little bit too long right is it a putt is it a putt as you can see my putter is on the green so <laughs> I made my mind and my decision before I got to the ball. Here we go. Another duff chip. Another day. Another duff chip. I don't know if it was the wind or the hill, but that just died. <laughs> Absolutely died. And this is for our six now. Which is less than ideal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> coming in clutch. I don't know if it's the Michael Jordan head cover for the putter, but it's coming in clutch. Right, hole number nine. Par four. The driver is back out. Let's see if we can avoid the trees this time. Oh, now. It's Healy, oh, yeah. not the best position down there as well. Everything just plays right to left and just rolled into the base of a tree there. Shame. I cannot tell you guys how good it feels to be back out on the golf course in the sun and not hearing squelching under my feet. Oh, it's brilliant. I tell you what, I don't know about you, I cannot wait for summer golf. And this is my first taste of the year of exactly that. Not the best position, you can't even see the pin, it's straight through those trees there, into wind. We've got 150 yards, uphill, I've gone for the 7 iron. If I catch this pure, it should be the number. For that! Right. Oh. That shot was so bad that I forgot my left and right there for a second. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> we're in the rough again. As you can see, trees in between 70 yards. I'm gonna open up and absolutely crank my 58 degree here. Oh, it's low, oh! It was perfect, it was absolutely perfect. It's one of the branches at the top just clipped it, only just. Right, whoever said trees are 90% air was lying. I've hit, <laughs> I think four shots where there was a chance and every single one has hit the trees, so. Maybe there's a lesson for me to take from that. Right, here we go. I've got like a 40 yard punt on here. I've got the pitching wedge. Oh, lovely. Run, run. Sit down. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what I imagined. It's not often the shots go exactly how I imagined. <laughs> right, just off the fringe. I mean, the wind is a joke, absolute joke today. Oh, tough to take. In for it, six on the ninth. And we've made the turn. Hole number 10, 14 over. So we're tracking very well and we're very much living up to the bogey golf. Hole number 10, par four, 290 yards, big dog leg right. I've got the eight iron. Um, that should play about the 150, 160 number to open up the, the turn for us here. It's a bit skinny, not ideal. All right, so we've got another little tester here. Um, the line is straight through those trees. Thread the needle again. I've got the pitching wedge. Oh, 
<laughs> we actually got lucky. The ball's just running across there. <laughs> How was your look? That did not go to plan at all, but it worked out perfectly. <laughs> right. Not where we wanted to be on our fourth stroke, but here we are. So downhill, we've got the pitchy wedge in hand. Just gonna bump it, bump it towards the hole here. Didn't really play that right to left, but we're putting big bogey putt coming up. Straight as an arrow. Another double. A double bogey on the hardest hole of the round. We'll take it. We'll take it. Hole number 11, par 5, 480 yards. Wind off the left, driver in hand. Come on. Yeah, lovely. On the fairway. I think that's the first drive <laughs> that was going on the fairway. Let's go. Right, lovely drive, if I do say so myself. 262 left in, but I know it plays downhill. I'm not sure if you can see the target line. Pretty much straight down. And if I can strike it pure, it's going to just run and run, and the green is straight down there. So, come on. Oh, it's not fading. Sit down. Oh, that's not the line we wanted to go down. Because I was sort of sat down in this ditch, it kind of meant it came out a little bit funny. Oh, fuming. So this is the problem. <laughs> if I play for the draw too much, I strike it pure and it, it just there's just no spin whatsoever. Oh, frustrating one here. All right, so this is the position we're in. <laughs> if I could be two yards to the right, I'd be a lot more comfortable. Green, obviously down there. I need to almost like play a little drawy bunt down there. Seven iron in hand, punt one down there and just hope for the best here. Oh, that came out so strange. <sighs> right, so we've got 40 yards left. Smooth little wedge on here. Oh, lovely. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, <laughs> little 15 footer. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a putt for par. Here we go. <laughs> Slight right to left, but not much in it. <laughs> oh, that's tough. That was probably my best attempt at par, but we move with a bogey. Right, hole 12, par 4, 367 yards, so it's a long old hole. Big dog leg to the right, and from memory, it's a big uphill for the approach shot, so. Might have got through. It might have got through. So as you can guess, I didn't find my ball. So we're taking a drop. I probably should go back to tee box and uh, should have hit a provisional really, but this is where we are. So we're here for three. This is going to be a very, very tough hole from here on out. 250 yards left, seven iron in hand. Might be okay. Might be okay. One, two, five to the pin here. Wind helping. Pitching wedge in hand. Come on. Oh, that's lovely. Be the number. Oh, I think we're dancing. <laughs> Let's go. I needed that. All right, back edge of the green here. And that was one, two, three, four. So this is our bogey putt. Into wind. <laughs> Whatever that's worth in putting terms. Right to left. Not bad, not bad. And for another double, here we go. Oh, we've been avoiding three putts for the most part. 
no escaping that one. <sighs> triple bogey. Our first triple bogey of the day. <laughs> Comes in the back line, <laughs> so we've evaded it long enough. But listen, we move. We need to pick up a par. I cannot leave here today without a par. Right, guys. Hole number 13, par 3, 189 yards, full hybrid in hand. Oh, my sweet Lord. Right, that'll take some finding. Right, so left, right rough. We've still got 55 yards to go here. Um, I've grabbed to 58. Take this tree out of play. Oh, very short. Very, very short, unfortunately. We've got a chance to test my newfound bump and run skills. A little bit shy, <laughs> but we bumped and ran. <laughs> we are loving these marathon bogey putts. Absolute St. Andrews. Break. Everything is going dead straight. Right, right to left for the double. Oh, love it. Lovely stuff. Double bogey onto the 14th. Right, hole number 14, par four, 230 yards. So I think it's the shortest par four today. Wind off the right, howling. <laughs> Quite the challenging shot. As you can see, we've got bunker to the right. The flag is just straight ahead. Big old green, I'm just trying to get on the front. Get on the front of the green is the aim of the play. Punch out, punch out seven iron. Oh, fat. It's running, to be fair. Yeah, just about five yards short at the front of the green there. Right, I know it didn't work last time, but we're just gonna try it again. A little bunt. I'm calling this the hybrid bunt. Oh, it's going. Get in the hole. Ooh! Oh, it's still going. Okay. We had a look in. We had a look in. <laughs> Listen, I did say I just want to keep giving myself par puts. They'll start dropping eventually. <sighs> so close. So close. Bogey. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it's a game of inches. It's a game of inches. A bit like the bedroom. On to the next. <laughs> Hole 15, par 4, 385 yard dog leg right. Aiming between the sort of hench oak tree on the left and the two smaller ones to the right. Nice straight tee shot. Come on. I mean, it's not bad. It's just running, still running. Do you know what? That's where I wanted my tee shot to go. It just didn't quite, <laughs> didn't quite fly like I wanted it to, but beggars can't be choosers. Welcome to summer golf. Finally, we're getting a little bit of run out here. So anyway, we are between the trees. It's where we wanted to be. However, the 183 number is looking inviting, but you've known what my luck is like today with the trees. So I'm going to try something I've never done before. I'm going to try and hit a stinger. <laughs> so here we go, seven iron. I mean, it's a layup. That was topped so hard, the divot is actually just a round ball mark. <laughs> Welcome to High Handicap Golf. <laughs> this is what separates the men from the boys. These type of approach shots, bunker left, long is dead. 122 yards. Got the P wedge in hand. Oh no. Bunker. Oh, it's actually a bit long. I'm not sure what's down there. But we'll find out, I suppose. Open up the face, gap wedge. And just let it release. Hold the follow through and don't decelerate. Don't decelerate. Come on. Trust it. Just trust it. 
Oh, lovely. Sit down. Oh, do you know what? That is so long, but for me, that's exactly what I need to do. It's just the power needs to work on, but that is what a chip on normally looks like. <laughs> another day, another 20 foot bogey putt. Nothing worse than a two putt bogey. Right to left. Dead straight again. I could do with some uh, green reading lessons, that's for sure. Right edge. Double bogey. Listen, two putt gang back in business. I'm evading the three putts for the triples, which is the main thing, and I think that's what's keeping the scorecard in check. Because when I'm struggling on the approach, the putter has bailed me out more than once. Come on, let's go. Making our way around very nicely here. Hole 16, par four, uphill. And the camera is gonna be very deceiving, it is. Let me tell you, it's uphill. 324 yards, it's probably playing more like 370. Full hybrid here. I think we're into wind as well. Let's find a fairway here. Oh! <laughs> Get the shot tracer on that! We've got one, six, five in, but it's uphill and it's into wind, so I've clubbed up to a six. It would be a seven, so I'm hoping the wind helps me out here if I catch it clean. Oh, it's clean, but it's right. Do you know what? It's out of the bunker, so yeah, nice shallow divot as well. Yeah, it just leaked right, club face slightly open. Not bad, all things considered. Wow, even the six didn't get there. The wind today is no joke. Right, this is the worst nightmare for me. Bunker garden. Oh, lovely. Sit down. Oh, it's just ran through. We've got a put for par. It's not an easy one, but it's a put for par. Get in the hole. Oh. <laughs> I cannot believe that didn't drop. It. Oh. Listen, it's a bogey. It's a bogey. How close do I need to get to get that par? Oh my God. I've got genuinely a couple of blades of grass cut off the rim and that drops. Hole number 16, hole number 17. Hole number 17, par three, 172 yards into win. So I've got the dreaded five iron in situ. Oh, I've got so little confidence when this comes out. It's actually a joke. Oh, I just can't swing the thing. All right, so we've made some yardage, made the hole a little bit easier. Playing it as a par four, bogey golf. Right, 140 yards into wind still, so I've got seven iron here. Run, run, run. Just shy of the green? I think just short, but that's what I wanted. Right, I mean, I think it's fair to say this is hybrid bunt territory. Oh, right to left. <laughs> just literally curved to the right. <laughs> Say it's a par three, it's starting to feel a lot like a par four. So this is for our double. So this is for our triple. Oh, took my eyes off the prize there. Oh, missing two footers doesn't bring anyone <laughs> any joy. <laughs> so hole number 18, this is what it all comes down to. A par to break 100. <laughs> Not scripted at all. Here we go, 268 yard, dog leg left. I'm aiming dead straight here to open up the green. Four hybrid in hand. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! A perfect. Right, they've done me dirty here. Um, <laughs> I suppose this is what happens when you've got a blind tee shot. 
it looked perfect, but I think I needed an extra 10 yards for it to run down the fairway. We just sort of caught the rough here on the left. So I'm just going to play a pitching wedge. I don't really have a full swing, but... Yeah, perfect. All right, apologies for the technical difficulties. I'm having to wrap up here in the car park. But I'm pleased to say you didn't miss anything. I, uh, I did three putt for a triple bogey on the 18th. We closed out the 72 scoring 102, so we did not break 100. If I had to say the back nine was a collapse, but listen, hopefully that round had a bit of everything in there. I feel like I played okay. There was a lot of par putts, kissing lips, so listen, next time they'll drop, but the collapse on the back nine, it's all up here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Over and out.